In this exercise I'm going to show how to pick a fault plane. I'll start with adding a default dataset to an inline and I'm going to switch the inline location to 250 because that's where we can see clearly the default that we'll be picking from here and I'm also going to scroll through the cube as I will be adding a uh, new fault sticks so I will set the scrolling step to 10. You can scroll through the inlines or cross lines or um, uh, also Z slices uh, using these green arrows on the navigation panel, or you can also use uh, the keys uh, by default, they're set to Z and X, uh, the shortcuts are on the keyboard, but you can also change these settings in the utilities menu keyboard shortcuts. I'm ready to start picking my fault. For this I'm going to add a new fault item to the tree. Notice that the fault panel appeared at the bottom of the open detect window. And at any time if you are going to pick a fault, make sure that this fault is highlighted in the tree. Uh, make sure that the edit sticks icon is on and that your mouse is in an interaction mode, uh, this green arrow. And I'm going to draw my first stick. In Open Detect, there are two uh, ways you can pick a fault, either by uh, using the left control mouse uh, click and drag along the plane, or I'm going to switch to a new location to show this, um, or you can use single clicks and a double click to finish your interpretation. I'm going to pick this fault on a couple of more locations, not accurately at all, just to, for the purpose of this exercise. If you made a mistake while picking, you can always use the undo, redo icons on the fault panel, or Ctrl Z, Ctrl Y shortcuts will work the same way. And I'm going to zoom out and show the fault plane in 3D. Uh, usually when you're interpreting uh, a fault or any other item, it's more convenient to switch to the section only mode. For this, right click on the item, in this case it's fault, display, on led sections. And you can also use the V control key on your keyboard to switch between on lead sections and in full mode. Whenever you wanted to remove a couple of sticks uh, from your fault plane, you can use the selection and deletion tool on the fault panel to select the sticks and remove them. Optionally, you can also display some data along your fault plane. For this, find an empty attribute near your fault, right click on it, select attribute and I'm going to display the default data set. And that's how it looks like. Of course don't forget to save your work regularly for this right click on the fault, save for the first time it will ask for a name, you can give it any name and click OK. This concludes a workflow showing how to pick a fault plane.